Music, in a surprising turn of events footage, has emerged showcasing sparing sessions of Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. It offered fans a glimpse into the training regimes and fighting styles of both fighters to Tyson's performance in the sparring session was nothing short of spectacular despite his age. He demonstrated that his skills, power, and ring intelligence remain intact. His ability to move swiftly, deliver powerful punches, and maintain a high pace throughout the rounds was a clear indication that he is still a formidable force in the ring. The sparring sessions of Tyson and Paul have only added to the anticipation surrounding their upcoming official fight fans are now more eager than ever to see these two athletes face off in a professional applause. Bout Paul and Tyson were slayed to clash last month, but the bout was postponed due to Tyson's ulcer flare-up in May, which sidelined his training now rescheduled for November 15th. Hall secured a victory over Mike Perry on the original date, while Tyson used the delay to thoroughly prepare for his first professional boxing match. Since 2005, when the fight was delayed, Tyson said, I want to thank my fans around the world for their support and understanding during this time. Unfortunately, due to my ulcer flare-up, I have been advised by my doctor to lighten my training for a few weeks to rest and recover my body is in better overall shape than it has been since the 1990s, and I will be back to my full training schedule. Soon Tyson remarked that while Jake Paul may have gained some time, he would ultimately still be knocked out and out of boxing for good. He expressed appreciation for everyone's patience and looked forward to delivering an unforgettable performance later in the year. Meanwhile, Lawrence Oki remains uncertain about the forthcoming match, however, the reigning WBC World Bridger weight champion is convinced that the outcome of this peculiar bout hinges largely on Tyson's performance. Although Okolai thinks Paul, who is 27 years old, shouldn't have any trouble defeating his opponent, who is 58 years old, Tyson's prominence in the boxing community has made him hesitate. Okoli told Betway, it really depends on how Mike Tyson is at his age, it will be tough. I believe just because any boxer should be able to beat a 58-year-old, so it's tough to call. But Jake Paul is the younger man, despite it being Mike Tyson, it's a weird fight. I don't know how serious the fight is, or who would sanction it for a 58-year-old to have a fight. But we're here Tyson, having resumed his training, is adamant about being prepared to fight again, despite his last bout ending in a dull draw against Roy Jones' juror in an exhibition match in 2020. Tyson will absolutely destroy Jake Paul in their upcoming bout, according to Tyson Fury Fury who was named after Tyson believes the ex-champion can prevail in a clip reshared by MNA Red Fury, remarked that if Mike Tyson hits anyone regardless of his age, he would knock them out cold. He expressed his support for Mike Tyson in his fight with Paul emphasizing that since he is named after the legend, he would back him. Fury also mentioned that Tyson always supports him. So he in turn is rooting for Mike to win by knockout enthusiastically cheering. Come on, Mike, listen, if Mike Tyson hits anybody, you don't care if he's 90, he's going to knock him out cold. Is he? It's I am Mike Tyson. Obviously, I have to back Mike Tyson. I'm named after the legend. And I back him as he always backs me. I'm backing Mike for the knockout. Come on, Mike. The boxing world has been divided by the fight with many fearing for Tyson's well-being. What Paul has no qualms about taking on the 58-year-old after beating Perry. He said he's tough as nails. I'm sorry it took so long respect to Mike Perry. He's the king of violence. He's the big champion. I hit too hard. He took a lot of damage. And that's a W for me. I expected that, but I did put him down in the first round. He just survived Mike Tyson. Your next big boy. Sign the contract November 15th on Netflix. I'm excited for that one. I'm going to go home and prepare for that one. Paul further added it's happening November 15th. Mike Tyson is training. He's back looking crazier than ever. I'm going to get another KO and prove prove everyone wrong once again. Everyone said I was an idiot for taking this fight, that I was risking it. But this is why I'm here. I take big risks. Paul expressed his admiration for Mike Tyson, acknowledging his legendary status and recognizing him as one of the two most famous boxers alongside Legend Alley. He conveyed his honor at the opportunity to get in the ring with Tyson, but confidently stated his intention to take Tyson's throne similarly boxing. Legend Larry Holes has weighed in with his prediction ahead of the fight between Tyson and Paul. During his remarkable 75-fight career, Holmes squared off against formidable opponents like Ernie Shavers, Ken Norton, and the legendary Muhammad Ali. However, in 1988, he fell to Tyson while vying for the WBA, WBC, and IF titles in an interview with USA Today. Holmes stated that he is picking his former rival to win. He said, I'll bet a quarter on Mike Tyson, former undisputed heavyweight champion, Vladimir Klitschko.
was asked about the fight in an interview with Fight Hub TV Klitschko, commented that the fight between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul is outstanding. He noted that Tyson at his age is facing a much younger and hungry YouTuber who is also capable of boxing. Klitschko believes this match will serve as a good example for people of Tyson's age and inspire him to keep going as well expressing his anticipation for the fight Mick Tyson at 58 years old. What do you think of this fight well? That's um also outstanding as this fight uh. In Ryan Mike Tyson at his age is facing in a YouTuber that is much younger uh and hungry and capable of boxing as well so it's going to be a good example for uh people that are at Mike's age yeah. Uh it's also actually a good example for me to keep on punching so to speak uh and hopefully and uh um I look forward to that match as well he was informed that a lot of people believe Tyson is too old to still be fighting Klitschko stated that age is only limitation in one's mind and that by controlling the mind, one can control everything. He emphasized that age is a mental concept and encouraged everyone to just keep punching. How do you think that fight goes a lot of being made that you know Mike Tyson might be too old for Jake Paul, obviously, like you mentioned Jake Paul's coming from a YouTube background. Do you think he's too old? Do you think Mike will still get the knockout? You can only be too old in your mind. Yeah, if you control your mind, you control everything you much. Wow, that's a great advice. And just final one for me, like you said, you know Mike Tyson still fighting my V a little bit of a lesson to you. As well, is there any potential of a comeback in you know? With a lot of people coming back a well, there is no comeback in sports. Dude injuries KSI was forced to withdraw from his two versus one in extravaganza, scheduled for August 31st in Dublin, leaving opponents Slim Albar and Anthony Taylor Without a match, Anthony Taylor, a former sparring partner of Jake Paul, is looking ahead and urging Iron Mike Tyson to take a page from Kissy's book. With Tyson's health concerns mounting before their upcoming fight, Taylor is advocating for Tyson to withdraw in order to prioritize his well-being. Speaking to Instant Casino, Taylor said Mike Tyson is a lamb to the slaughter. He should follow KSI and save himself a concussion against Jake Paul. Mike Tyson needs to take a leaf out of Kissy's book and pull out of his fight against Jake Paul. I've worked with Jake behind the scenes and trust me, you haven't seen what he's capable of Tyson is a lamb to a slaughter Anthony Taylor expressed concern about a potentially concussive ending, noting that Jake Paul has developed into a real fighter over the five years he has known him. Taylor predicted that when Tyson tires, Paul will take advantage, highlighting Paul's exceptional cardio. He likened the situation to Homer Simpson waiting out his opponent and then knocking them over when they were exhausted emphasizing that at 58 Tyson will tire quickly. It is true to say that Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul has generated as many headlines as any boxing fight in recent times despite not yet having happened opinions within the sport have been split by the pairing of a living grade of boxing with a very young professional some fret over the younger fighter's safety when he faces an opponent who was once considered the most fearsome on the globe others however are concerned about the well-being of a nearly 58 year old who hasn't stepped into the ring professionally for more than two decades and recently experienced a medical setback that postponed the original bout by four months paul has triumphed over every opponent He's encountered except one Tommy Fury, his opponents have been strategically chosen, often featuring seasoned fighters, or those new to the ring. Most recently, Paul delivered a decisive fifth-round stoppage against Mike Perry, a former UFC standout, known for his bare-knuckle prowess, pushing his record to an impressive 11 wins and a single defeat. In the meantime, Tyson's most recent bout was an exhibition match against Roy Jones Jr. two years ago. Prior to that, he had been out of the ring for two decades with his last official loss, marking the end of his professional career, Alexander Us. The reigning heavyweight champion recently shared his thoughts with seconds out about the upcoming fight he views as more of a spectacle than a serious challenge, but remains unconcerned about it, Yusk. Said, listen, listen, it just shows Tyson is a big famous man in all the world. Jake Paul is a young guy who want to box, who want to help young guys, but it's a show, it's a big show. If people want to see a show, okay for me, listen for me. I think it's okay, the anticipated showdown.